as old as civilization itself, our search for mastery over the wind and the waves has taken us to areas of discovery that were once unimaginable. As we seek to understand and control the forces of nature that can power us through the water on a journey that has only just begun. Since man first got on the water and realized that you can only get so far by rowing, sailing has opened up new boundaries. Well, I think boats will ultimately just keep going a little bit faster. We are dealing with problems which is of the order of uh, sometimes one billion of environments. 100 knots for me is not something impossible. The sky is the limit. It's my life. I never think about anything else. When you get rid of the rules, you can incorporate anything you want. You're doing what you dream of doing. It's your turn to step up to the plate. There's always going to be a place for sailboats. The theory of how a boat sails may seem simple enough, but to make a boat operate as efficiently as possible requires a far deeper understanding. At Europe's number one center for excellence in engineering and technology, Switzerland's Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, or EPFL. They have been exploring some of science's greatest mysteries for over 150 years. At the heart of EPFL is the Rolex Learning Center, a library containing one of the largest collections of scientific works in Europe, and big enough to accommodate nearly 2,000 people in a space where the latest ideas can be studied researched and debated by some of the brightest minds in the world. EPFL has worked closely with the Swiss team Alinghi, helping them to two America's Cup victories and also developing their revolutionary catamaran for the last competition. It's a constant search for the most efficient shape through both the water and the air to decide which design offers the path of least resistance. To improve aerodynamics, uh, you have to uh, improve your knowledge of the uh, physical behavior of your boat under specific flow conditions. Previously, towing tanks and wind tunnels were used to test each new version of the evolving boat design. But today, a virtual world of seemingly endless variation has been created to simulate every imaginable effect of wind and wave on every part of a boat's design. For every a second of physical time, you may need to solve 10,000 times this type of interaction. That's explain why you need a big computer, hopefully a supercomputer, to make all this computation available in a reasonable time. EPFL has one of the world's fastest and most advanced supercomputer systems, capable of over 22 trillion calculations a second. This colossal computing power has been primarily devoted to mapping the human brain, but it also provides the mathematical muscle needed for the complex equations that simulating flow requires. But just as technology allows us a closer understanding of the effect air and water have on a boat, so the complexity of the equations increase. We can dream that uh, one day we will have uh, the perfect algorithm to get the perfect boat, uh, but uh, suddenly afterward uh, you will uh, try to devise new rules and uh, different kind of boat and then the adventure will start again from scratch. Many people, many designers uh, optimize boat around power. The more sail area you can have, seemingly faster boat will go. The search for speed comes in many forms. Speed Dream is the vision of Vlad Murnikov, designer of Russia's first ever Whitbread race entry, Fazizi. In 1989, its lightweight and streamlined shape upstaged many heavyweight rivals. And this emphasis on efficiency over power, Murnikov believes, could solve the equation for speed. Now think for a moment if you say, OK, instead of increasing power, I will reduce drag. I will try to make both as slippery as possible. 
and as light as possible. So a boat will move uh, through water with ease and with less power needed. Speed Dream will challenge every aspect of boat design. So for example, what we do to reduce resistance, we have this very slippery, uh, almost delta shape hull form. That means that boat has a nice, pointy, wave-piercing bow, which can actually go through water with, with ease, improving seaworthiness, reducing pitching of the boat and the waves. A 100-foot monohull that can sail at 50 knots in open ocean and cover 1,000 miles in a single day. Let's just imagine that keel can't at 75 degrees to windward and boat heels 15 degrees. That means that keel is completely out of water, flying above the waves. So the, the potential is tremendous. Conventional monohull design has seen a steady increase in maximum speed to the present level of just over 40 knots. Speed Dream aims to move into territory usually occupied by multi-hulls to produce sailing's ultimate thrill ride. The bleeding edge of the sport is, is really where Speed Dream Project is going to be pushing that edge, learning from that, and uh, really sort of opening up people's eyes to something a little bit different. For thousands of years, we have wrestled with the challenges of using nature to propel us through the water. Searching for the most effective way to make the best use of the elements around us. But in seeking to understand how to make a boat sail fast, we can also unlock many other areas of knowledge. We can gain a greater understanding of how blood flows around our bodies. We can use less of our planet's resources. And we can find more efficient ways to generate power. There's a certain purity and kind of beauty about using nature to propel yourself. You know, I don't think that's ever going to go away, no matter how good technology gets. Um, you know, there's still going to be nothing like being on a boat in the water, using the sails to get yourself somewhere. But for all the technology, the science, and the sophistication, our fascination with gaining mastery over the wind and the waves is perhaps best summed up in the words of the visionary Bernard Smith. To one who has turned lifeless materials into a thing alive, there can never be anything more wonderful than the sailboat. The sailboat offends the senses of neither fish, foul, nor man. And to make it go faster is to make it even more a thing of freedom and beauty. Yeah.